Would God even allow you to go and fight with somebody who is a trigger warning? Who is going to gang bang you before you even finish to talk? No. And women of the world, let them be direct like that. I keep saying here on all my platforms, let the women of the world hate each other. Let them break one another with no emotion. But not us who carry Jesus. Because you do not know where somebody has come from. And some of these women you want to make fun of. Me, it is a choice because I live in Europe, Sister K. I don't know where you are. But me, I'm a Zambian who lives in Europe. I live in Holland, one of the most richest nations in the world. There's a king and a queen here. It's a society that has makeup, that has got hair, and I've been there as a woman who used to wear makeup and hair, Sister K. And my testimony is that I met Jesus. So if you come here for Jesus, which Jesus told you to ask me about my hair? Which Jesus? Because the Jesus that would have told you to ask about my hair, is he not the same Jesus that was there and taught Sharon to be my witness when I was burning Brazilian hair and throwing away all the wicked things? You laugh at people when they start throwing away things they bought with expensive money. Was it not that same Jesus? who was making me lead a group of women, and he taught me I cannot be an example if I don't walk the walk. And just because you are that woman who believes in Jesus, but has not been transformed, and you have not given up, God does not force. He didn't force me to give up makeup. He told me what he does, my hair, and he told me he gave me hair. And when I realized, and for real, my eyes and my ears are spiritually opened. Why was I doing everything that I was doing to myself? And the fact that a woman... A black woman can step to another fellow black woman and try to ask her about the authenticness of how God fearfully and wonderfully made her. Is not that the devil deeming you people for your destruction? I live in Europe here. Some of you, 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 you want to live here. I want to tell you this. You want to be here because the way you, you suffer to buy makeup and to fix yourself. Me, it is at my doorstep. There is no makeup that I have to wait for China or Korea to ship. Everything is within the nation I live. So don't you think it's a choice? And don't you think I'm a grown woman enough that I know what I am doing? Don't do that. Don't do that. If you have not yet given up your ways for God, don't make others who have feel like there's something wrong with them. Because there ain't nothing wrong with me. And if you feel like you want to see me in a certain hair, praise the Lord. If you are not the one breaking my back, giving me big kiss, you are not my husband. That's the last thing you can talk because even the one who married me, Papa Rafael, is hearing me right now. My husband would even fear to even tell me, baby, do this. My husband will rebuke me with wig, but with my natural hair. My husband will not care if we are going to the office today. He's going to the Nazi, Nazi jazz festival where there are big musicians and princes there. And I am pregnant with our first child with natural hair looking mad. My husband did not think it was crazy. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. Because the way you feel about yourself, you have made other women and killed your fellow generation with it. It is wrong. It's called the spirit of pride. And I don't deal with that spirit of pride well. I, I, I castrate it and that's why you think I'm aggressive. I mean every word I speak. That's why the Lord says do not provoke people and do not test people. Because even Jesus don't test you. He said test the spirit. Stop doing this my sisters. If you believe I'm an intelligent woman just like you said. Just like you're a very intelligent woman yourself. I will never come to your space, Sister K, to tell you what you should do and not do. And before you can speak okay. to another woman, can I, can I, can I think of something? yourself. Yes, my sister. Okay. I apologize if I got you offended. You know, you know, this is a social media and it's a public space. No, my sister, and that's why you make a mistake. No. I, no, 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 no. To yourself. Can I, can I, I, no, 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 my sister. my sister. I'm not speaking to women of the world. You, know, this you are speaking to a, you are speaking to an apostle of the Lord. Public, no, my sister. I will not entertain it. No, 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 no. God of order, my sister. God of order, sister K. No, 
God of order, my sister. It did not offend me, my sister. Listen very well. My sister, listen very well. I'm speaking just how I felt. No, that's why I'm telling you, don't speak how you feel all the time. There is a way that seemeth right to man, but leads to destruction and death. Sister K, everything you feel is not right. When you fight with your husband, have you, if you're married, have you never felt like you're so angry at your partner? You just want to punch the life out of him. Do you do it? No, because I didn't know you would get offended. No, my sister, did you do it? Do you do it? No. So the first answer I'll give you is we don't do everything we feel or think. And then the second thing, Sister K, I said it here very clear. I'm speaking to women of God, not women of the world. And Sister K, even if it is a public platform, there is a name to your profile there. Nobody has the right, Sister K. Let's not take that right off people, even if it's in public platform. We have no right to do that to people, Sister K. And I'm telling you this as a woman of God and as your fellow black woman. We have no right. How many people have you heard with words and you thought it was public and because you thought that's how you felt? So how many things that you felt have collected you sin and curses and somebody has gone to cry and spoke evil over your children? How many if we have to retract? It will be too much. Don't do that, Sister K. I'm not angry. I want you to learn that you have no right. It's not about how I feel or how I react. You have no right. Your space, my space, inner circle, outer circle. You understand, my sister? The way, the way I speak to Sharon, Sharon is my personal sister. Sharon knows that if I come on live here, I don't address her. She will never worry. We know each other. So even if she says, hi, sis, if I don't address her, she knows that we are okay. But for somebody that doesn't know me, if they greet me on my platform, hi, Apostle Rachel Bota, if I see that comment and don't respond to them and I respond to everybody else, they might think it's something personal. Two different situations, inner circle, outer circle. Inner circle is people you know. Outer circle, you don't know me, I don't know you. We know each other on social media and even if we're in each other's live video right now, I still have my grace that God has given me. The same way you have your grace that God has bestowed upon you. So it's not how people respond. It's about what is right and what is wrong. What is wrong is that people think they have access to other people's lives in any way or any other platform because they see them on live. No, my sister, the grace of God that has given you the privilege to see somebody online or to share an account in the same, on the same platform with them did not say go and write that. And sister K, when we go to the God of Abraham, you think God will allow you to keep just typing comments when you know that those comments will come and bite you. That's a lie. So it's not about me being offended. And if you don't have Jesus, I'll say I understand because you are entitled. God forgives ignorance. And he that has never heard the word of God cannot be condemned because how can you condemn them if they have never known what is good and bad? If you know God, that's where the problem. And that's why when people are, are being destroyed in their own words and calamity, they are waiting for God. Which God of Abraham showed up? There is a way that seemeth right to man, but its ending leads to destruction. To us men, and you made a very good point, my sister, since you're on platform, on, uh, on social media, you're in public. But my sister, I'm in public on my own platform. I switch my own camera on to come and preach the word of God. And if you want to say something, it's better to say it in your own space, but don't come direct to me because that's even more dangerous. Because that same God tells you, people, tells I us people to something? move. I don't, I don't know, you know, first of all, in my own life, it's, I'm very liberal. In the sense that I believe that I'm not paying TikTok to use their space. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, if you have anything tangible you want to contribute or anything you want to talk about, you can share it with us. So... Maybe I'm looking at it from the angle of how I relate with people who come to my life. I used to tell them my life is liberty life. Just like you say, 
your own is strictly for women of God. And I'm a woman, I'm a woman of God because I'm not a woman of the devil. You understand? So, based on that, that's where I think I misunderstood you. Because I am free with my own life. I let people come and even if they say something not good, I correct them. I tell them. I, not because um, I, I can't say you... I don't you you don't have to come and talk like that on my life. I could say that but even if it's wrong, sometimes I ignore them. You understand? I laugh over it because I take life a lot simple because ah I'm not even God. It, me being alive is grace. And so I'm quick to just put things behind because I there are too many problems in life already. Oh. You know. So I I maybe I just look at your life as my life. And I'm, I'm not saying it because I know you, you are beautiful, you understand, but I'm just making that reference like, sis, why are your hair like this? You know, we, like you're, you might say I'm not yours. You call me sister here, but you also say that I'm not your friend. You don't, I don't know you. But the, the way I'm talking to you, I believe in my heart that you're my sister first before this very uh, TikTok and all of that. So that's why... I said what I say because if we are sisters, I have to open up to you. Because naturally, I call people sisters because mm -hmm. we are all children of God in this world. No matter what, white, black, pink, yellow, yeah. you understand? It's only politics and religious crisis that destroy our our sisterhood and brotherhood. You know, so that that's where I'm coming from. On my own life, I don't. I don't, I don't, I, people can say whatever. If it's not okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to ignore the person. I will tell the person I'm sorry. Like I saw somebody on one life. This man, this woman was very old and the guy was very young. You understand? So people were making a lot of comments about them. But whenever they tell the woman, some people will say that, look at you, you are very old. Why are you with that black guy? You just want to stop half him from doing or achieving what he wants to achieve in life. You are too old. Go find your mate. And the woman will say, I'm sorry. We love each other. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. But, you know, it depends on who. So people might take it overboard and start saying, that's not your business. You stupid. You crazy. You this. This is our space. This, 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 that. You know? So people answer things whichever way. It's fine for them. So that's the way I look at it. For me, you know, I'm very simple-minded. I don't take things out of bound. I just like, okay, whatever. But I know you're an apostle, so you're, you're, you're going to be different. Anyway, and so that's just, exactly okay. where you need to get it. You will never go to TB Joshua or Pastor Chris to do that. That's where a lot of people use. that. what you said at the end, an apostle. I have been given the grace by God to save him. And I'm not full of myself. You see the way you say people take it and leave it. Me, my life has become now indebted to save Jesus because Jesus is so angry. Like the story you even explain right now. You even the answers. You have the answers for yourself, Sister K. You just have to turn the wisdom around. The fact that there were people in somebody's life writing things is what the Lord raised me for. No, God never gave nobody that power. That power is free will from the devil, but that free power is from the de from for, to destroy you, not to build you. The same way you say that you see us as sisters, I told you we are not friends because I wanted you to get something very clear. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ here. But we do not know each other on a personal level like that. 